Well, howdy there, partners. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I clean stuff and you watch me for some reason. We're back out in Power Wash Simulator on the final of the new special maps, and we got this big beast to clean. Uh, yeah, it's looking extremely rusty, so I'm really glad they gave me the best power washer in the game. And, uh, yeah, this is called the Dune Rocket, I guess. It was placed here in memory of Jeff Jefferson the 10th in office from 1865 to 1885. When the dust finally settled, the mayor was nowhere to be found. He had ridden out of town on a rail and into the sunset, never to return again. Or somebody killed him. Who the hell knows? Oh, can I shoot this? Yes! You can shoot the tumbleweeds! Ah, uh, this is fantastic. Oh, we got a souvenir stand here. Is this... What? What's going on here? I mean, I'm assuming this is a souvenir, but can I turn it on? Why would you give me a big red button that I can't use? That's so frustrating. Hello? Oh, hey, little gnome. How you doing, buddy? Oh, God. We have more Bigfoot sightings. Oh, my God. I can't wait till we actually see Bigfoot in this game. Is he out here? All right, looking around, I don't see much more added to this map. So I guess we'll get on to cleaning this beast. Um... I gotta say, I don't think this will be... Oh, I don't want to jinx it. But yeah, this is obviously a much smaller map, but I feel like there is going to be a lot of areas that are going to be fun to deal with. Anyways, um, let's do a first pass first with my favorite, the yellow. We'll use Mr. Stubbs here, and I want to see... Okay, maybe there actually isn't much rust here? That or I forget how powerful this thing... Is that rust? Am I actually just pulling off... Oh, I am pulling off rust. Man, I have... It's been, you know... Uh, few hours of using these smaller power washers now and i forgot how good the pro is i don't even need soap really this is just gonna come right off oh man and with this new movement this is this is just great i mean i'm already six percent done man I, I i forgot how good this thing is like rust doesn't even affect me at all like look at it there's rust everywhere on this thing oh we do have oily grime that actually seems a little bit harder Interesting that, that that that's harder than rust. I don't think we've had oily grime before. It's exciting when we get new dirts in this game. That probably sounds weird, but yeah, it's nice to have dirts that are harder to get off. All right, there is a very quick first pass. We have a coal car. Is it actually filled with coal, I wonder? Nope. Well, it, it might be. I have no idea, but we don't have to worry about the insides. All right, let's get the insides done. All this cool machinery here. Oh, Furnace dial cleaned. Wait, can I actually open it? Oh, that's no fun. All right, so that's much more clean. Let's, um, do I gotta go... There's no, like, internals, is there? No, this is all... This is very boxy, actually, so I was worried I'd have to go inside, but no, it doesn't look like that. I mean, we still have lots of rail wheels here we're gonna have to deal with, but, um, it shouldn't be too bad. Get the upper deck here. That's really the only truly dirty part left. All right, that's pretty clean, and then we'll do the top. That's obviously still dirty as well. All right, maybe I should have took more time going around this thing. I clearly have been rushing this job. And the downside of doing it that way is I'm just gonna have to go back and do everything once again anyways. But I just like getting off the easy dirt as quickly as possible. It's very pleasing to do. How are we still at 64% though? This thing looks, I mean, obviously rusty, but it looks pretty clean. Uh, maybe I'm uh, underestimating how hard this uh, these tracks are going to be because I feel like this is where the majority of the dirt is now. All right, so I'm going to take my time now, just go slowly uh, down the line and actually start getting some dings. See how hard these things truly are to clean. Oh my god, yeah, okay, this is awful. This is, this is an awful experience. Okay, that actually, it gave me a lot of room for error, so I do appreciate that. There we go. Come on, where's the dirt up top, maybe? Yep, there it is. Okay. So there's that side more or less done. Okay. There's the wheels done. We'll do all these little things. The car buffers, as they're called. I didn't think about that with this, but at the end, it's going to be fun trying to figure out where all these things are, because I don't know any train names. So I better make sure I do a thorough cleaning, because it's going to be hard to find these things. Okay, the rail car is looking a hell of a lot more clean. Let's get this inner wall done. There we go. Oh, the top hatch isn't done? I guess there is this little lip here that I totally missed. And there we go. The only thing I didn't do is, like, the main frame of it. So we'll do that. Ah, oh, both at the same time. I was on a hard time with them, too. That's, that's super lucky. Okay. I think that is one clean coal car. Look at how shiny it is. Like, I can see 
the reflection behind me. So I don't think I missed much there. So we'll get on to the uh, front now. Oh, man, I forgot how stupidly hard these wheels are going to be. Um, yeah, I guess we'll actually start just from the front and work our way back now. Why is this called a cow catcher? Is, it, is, is this a real name for this? Did they just, like, splatter cows with these? So I did look it up, and it actually is called a cow catcher or a pilot. Um... Didn't really explain why it's called a cow catcher, but they're designed to throw things off track. So I'm assuming it's literally to just slap cows off the tracks. <laughs> kind of sick if you think about it. Ooh, these are, as you can see, this is really bad. I mean, it's nice to have a bit of a challenge, but my God, it just, it won't come off. I don't even know if this map comes with soap. I'm assuming it does. Oh, we got six liters of metal cleaner. Okay, well, I didn't want to to use it but if i get six liters i feel like it's a good idea to at least get rid of all this freaking oil oh, there's one there's two okay clearly the soap works very well you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep it on i don't think i've ever done this this almost feels like cheating with how much soap i get <laughs> i don't even know what i'm aiming at but i'm cleaning things all right i guess we'll use some soap up here considering we have more than enough <laughs> Soap is so cheap, man. All right, well, that was a huge waste of soap, but very, very fun, and it did obviously work. I wasn't really strategizing with it, though. <laughs> I'm out of metal cleaner. Oh, my God. All right, now I'll go back to the legit way and target anything that we missed, which was a lot. Whoa, chill out. Jesus, that went too well. Well, we are 99% done, and that is one pretty train. I have a sneaky suspicion, though. There's still so many. I, so much I have to do, isn't there? Look at... Oh, we're like... Seriously, we're like halfway done. Now I'm just gonna have to go around and really look for any of the dirt. Because I left, like, none. But, of course, there's some on every little piece. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's this right here. Done. All right. Um, oh, I'm not looking forward to just staring at this and figuring out where every little piece of dirt is but this has got to be where the majority of my issues are now so driving wheel panel oh that's like the whole back thing isn't it yeah okay so let's see if we can find any dirt on that i don't see any oh my god like look at this angle that i have to do to get this freaking wheel thing can i take this thing off the big stupid red steam chest i don't like steam chests oh this is much better prone i should have did that much earlier oh my god I don't get it this panel looks pristine it's only this side. Oh, there we go. It was right at the ledge, I think. Or the edge. This is the worst. Like, having all this stuff in front of you... Oh, my God. I cannot see. Is that Was there something up there? I, th I think I'm starting to see things. Oh, there we go. Get it. Get it. Prone shot from the... D oh, freaking things get in the way of every freaking angle I try. Is it... I don't even know where it is. Is it underneath that? I, th I think I got it. I mean, there's a little bit still there. Oh, is that a, is that dirt? Is that dirt? How the f how the frig am I gonna get that? Okay, is that it? Am I am I getting it? I can't even tell. Is it taunting me? Look at all that dirt. Look, go in there. Oh, please tell me I'm hitting it. I think I got it. We have to be getting close now. Okay, wheel well. That that was the majority of it. Thank God I saw that. It's like this weird under angle of this panel so now i'm thinking does it lift up again over here not really there's a little bit in the back though if you ever want to torture someone just just t tell them to clean these things this is oh my god i can't <laughs> just let me finish i'm so sick of looking at this oh <gasps> I don't even know where it was. Clearly by this wheel somewhere, but we finally did it. That was by far the worst last item I've ever had on any of these maps. And I've done a few in this game. My God, I am never touching this freaking train again. That was a horrifying... Screw up. That was a horrifying experience. All right. Well, there it is in all its dirtiness. And there I am for some reason cleaning it. <laughs> At least you can see it kind of closer now because it's such a small map. God, that made it look so easy, as per usual. All right, and one thing that you guys asked me to do and I wanted to do as well is test what mode is faster. The new way of aiming or just the old school way of, well, 
just moving your mouse. So to make this as fair as possible, I am going to be doing obviously the same map and uh, I am only going to be using one nozzle with no attachments. We're going to use the yellow, obviously, because it's the best. And yeah, we're just going to see what one takes the longest. So I have a stopwatch at the bottom and this shouldn't take too long at all with this good power washer. Um, I'm thinking this might actually be faster, but only one way to find out. Let's get right into it. All right, and here we go. This time we're doing the old school way. Oh, get out of the way. And time. So ju exactly two minutes. I have this on another screen, so I don't have time to stop it immediately, but I looked over, it was exactly two minutes. All right, so I have no idea if that's good or not. I haven't done this job with this super powerful power washer. So let's restart and try once again. All right, and let's get it going. A little bit of a cheat at the start there. It was using the old way. I forgot to go to the new way, but I don't think that's gonna affect it much. Already, I can feel like this is faster. Uh, I think it's just because my head isn't spinning as much. I don't know. I think I feel like it's going to be easier to target when the camera's not moving as much. So what I'm realizing is it's very hard for me to spot the final objects when I can't aim at them. So I definitely think at the start... There we go. We found it. Spring the bu it's the bumper. I think for getting rid of a lot of dirt, this is good. But for the final little bits that you're looking for, I feel like the old way is clearly better. We are already over time. And we just got a wing mirror to do, so there we go. Ah, so yeah, I, f I forgot to stop the time, but it was like 2.15-ish. Obviously, a mix of modes is the best way to go. I feel like for the first pass, this mode is way better. But for pinpointing those fine details, going back to this mode is better. Uh, but yeah, regardless, this was faster. It just tends to give me a headache when I'm constantly moving the screen like this. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed another few episodes of Power Wash Simulator. Now, I'm hoping the campaign should be finishing pretty soon here. So that will likely be the next update, and I'm super excited for that. I hope you guys enjoyed some new challenging levels, though. Um, they were really fun. I have to say the golf course was definitely my favorite level, uh, not only in this, but probably in the game. And you know what? The train or the locomotive might be my most hated level as well. So the best and the worst all in one update. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.